Here we go, the Minolta XG2 in three minutes. Here it is. It was released in 1977. In Europe it's called the XG2. In the US it was called the XG7. And in Japan it was called the XGE. It has an electronic shutter. It's got the shutter speeds there from one to a thousandth. On the left of the camera, you can see the settings. We've got self timer, off, on, and battery check. Let's turn it on. To activate the meter, all you have to do once it's turned on is just rest your finger on the sh on the shutter release like that. The XG2 has two modes. You can see manual there, but if we move the shutter dial all the way around to A, then you have aperture priority automatic. In auto mode you get an LED illuminated next to the appropriate shutter speed when looking through the viewfinder. You can move the A symbol up or down to get exposure compensation. Moving it here increases exposure by one stop. Now move to manual mode and how much help do you get with metering? Nothing. A quirk of a lot of the Minolta cameras from the 1970s and 1980s is that there's little or no help when uh, metering manually. That's not a great problem because you can download a light metering app to your phone. The one I'm currently using is called Lux. Minolta MD mount cameras were extremely popular so there are a lot of them made. Uh, this lens mount is the MD mount and it's discontinued so you can pick up a lot of lenses very cheap. There's a very good range and they're really good quality. On the bottom of the camera you can see the connections for the winder. That'll wind the film on at 2 frames per second. Film loading is easy. Open the back using the film rewind knob. Put the film in. And thread into the slots. Wind on a frame and close the back. I think it's a great looking camera. It's nice and solid with very firm controls and it's very responsive. It makes a nice clunking shutter sound and uh, a really clear viewfinder. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful.